Stafford! I'm coming for you! Will's hot in our tail. OK, let's go. I'm just trying to get out of this gorge. That looks like a seriously bad choice, Mr Stafford. All the best with that. This time, I'm taking on my old friend and teacher, Will Lord. I've got this challenge! Hostile caves and rocky mazes of central China. I'll be listening to the birds. I'll be actually listening to the forest itself. Yes! Ah. Lord is the leading primitive skills expert in the UK. He's, seven years ago, I employed Will to teach me basic survival skills. He taught me how to make a bow and arrow. He taught me how to nap stone into um, a cutting tool. Our relationship in the past has been very much one of teacher of student. Well, we're running into the viewpoint, guys, to actually have a look over the ground you're going to be traveling in. This course here, I've designed it to push the fellas to the extreme limit. They will start in a treacherous gorge that runs east to west, and they find their way south towards a disoriented maze of limestone shards called the Dragon's Teeth. They then enter one of the largest bamboo forests in Asia. On the other side lies a massive sinkhole. The first man to reach the bottom will be the winner. So, Ed, I want to up the stakes a little bit. I'd like you to leave your knife back here. So with no knife? Well, there's plenty of rocks down there, and you came to me for a lesson, innit? Yeah, OK, mate. Yeah? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Challenge is on! Yeah! Look at the smile on your face. You're one nil up at the moment. Best of luck, eh? Cheers. OK, and go! It's cold. The water's moving really fast. Every rock is covered in moss. Slippy as an ice rink. It's a gamble, but I'm going to date the risk. That looks like seriously a bad choice, Mr Stafford. All the best with that. That's just completely insane. I can't get back down. Slow it down now. Slow it down, Stafford. I've got this challenge! Come on! <laughs> See, things are flattening out. What I'm starting to do now is I'm starting to look for stones, because I'd really like to make myself a knife. What I'm looking for is a rock Rock, 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 rock. Yeah. I think we found our dagger. Yes, yes, yes. So a knife is going to be able to help me to cut through the bamboo, slice up meat. This yeah. is one of the skills that Ed came to me to uh, learn how to do. Looks like the entrance to a cave. And it is cold. That is ridiculous. That is so cold. How strong this wind is. See that? That is how strong the draft of air that's coming out of the cave is. If there's air flowing through it, that means there's a, an exit on the other side. That could potentially save me so much time and energy climbing over this massive mountain. I cannot believe it, you sexy, sexy beast. Wow, I am home for the night. Ah, oh, perfect. I've got to say, bamboo is amazing, isn't it? Nice bit of fire. The shell of this bamboo has got silica in it, and you can actually strike a spark off of it. That is as dry as a bone. This is where this knife is really paying off now. Baby, we have fire. OK, I've now got water in front of me. It's up to about shin level at the moment. I can feel breeze again. I can feel breeze coming. It could indeed be an exit, not very far ahead. I've had no option but to enter the water now. And it's getting much fiercer now! Oh! That's cold. That is properly cold. 
No, that's too but that's too cold, I'm too deep. And now wet up to my chest. I haven't got much more than half of the torches left and the water is just getting too deep. And I am freezing, properly, properly, properly cold now. That water is likely to be about eight, nine degrees Celsius and I do risk going down with hypothermia. I've decided to stop and I'm gonna use the firewood. I think it's probably better to have my skin. Oh, that was warmer already. That is so much warmer. If I can get these dry, I'm absolutely sorted. I have had to backtrack, but I'm gonna take the positives out of this. I'm under no illusions that I need to up my speed now, but if I also know well, he'll be spending a lot of time on intricate bushcraft. He'll get so involved in it that that could be to my advantage as well. So this one didn't work, but the race is definitely not over yet. This morning is about completing this little knife. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the resin as a glue now. You can get resin from many places in the wilderness, but on this occasion, I've gone to the pine tree. I need cordage. I need to bind the handle onto that knife. Nettle makes really great cordage. Just by itself, it doesn't really have what I'm looking for. So we need to spin it. That locks it all together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind them up tight. Good, I'm happy with the knife. You made a stone tool today, Ed? I get a suspicion not. I need protein, fish and chips would be a good thing. I just saw a little ripple in the water and so I know that there is fish in here, but then what I can do is crunch up the ash leaves, get the saponins out of them, that will then starve the fish of oxygen. Saponins are a chemical compound found in a lot of plants around the world and they're highly toxic to cold-blooded animals like fish. Wet it and then, oh, you can see the colour. This method is so simple that Chinese school children do it for fun. There's one. Ah! <laughs> I've got one. Let's see if there's more. Let's leave that there. Ah. There's one. Yes. Yes. Ah. It's a weird sort of bottom feeder, slightly catfish-esque. Because it's so small, there's no need to gut it at all. Kimchi가 맛있어지는 소리. This is what I needed. It's a bite-sized protein snack. <laughs> that was the most disgusting thing that's made me happy ever. Hold on, I think I've seen something. Oh! Got him! Look at the size of this thing. I've got adrenaline pumping through my body. I just feel like I've been at war. There's no joy in taking that. That's the natural order. When you're in a place like this, you fall straight into the natural order. You know, there's not a hamburger growing on a tree. I'm putting a snake on a bamboo. And I have a roasted snake. It's tougher than fish. People often say that snakes taste like chicken. But you know what? They just don't. Flame grilled, sinewy, bone and skin. It's more flavoursome than chicken. This is undoubtedly the best thing I've had to eat since I got to China. Life is good. And I ain't suffering right now. How about that for a headband? Eat your heart out, Ed Stafford. 
That is undeniably the best thing that has happened. I am now in the lead. The end is in sight. It feels somehow satisfying to be um, racing through this forest against an old friend. Oh, yeah, baby. Whenever I've put the pigment of the land on my face, you get something, you get some kind of grip and connection. I've just got a brand new level of strength just by putting that on. Let's get this done, shall we? Come on. I know that I'm heading roughly in the right direction, but it's just too slow. So if I can somehow get above the bamboo, you can see the fastest route out, I can head in that direction and then circumnavigate the bamboo. But at the moment, I can't cut the bamboo because I don't have a cutting tool. The ground is actually littered with these uh, fragments of rock. All I need to do is smash them up so that they're at a manageable size, take little flakes out of it to make it serrated, and I've got myself a saw. But, ah, that's it. One of the things that Will taught me to do was flaking. What I need to do is use another edge and serrate little notches into this. If I can make myself a usable saw using skills that Will has taught me, then that will be good. You see already, rather than being a flat edge, it's undulating and it doesn't have to be pretty at all. So my plan is actually very simple. It's literally to lash the three tripod legs together at the top. Hopefully, I'll have enough strength to literally walk it up into position, splay the legs out, and then put some rungs on it and get up and above the canopy. I came in somewhat arrogantly thinking, do you know what, I understand bushcraft on the fly, and yet, already, I found myself in a situation where I've had to use Will Lord's teachings to make myself a saw out of stones. If I hadn't actually taken that time, I wouldn't have been able to cut any of this bamboo and I wouldn't be able to solve this problem. It's up. <laughs> this platform is a little risky, but if I can get up there and see the route, it'll be a massive advantage. This is the moment of truth. Oh, yes! That is extraordinary. <laughs> I've got a view over the entire, and I can escape. <laughs> this has worked. This has properly worked. Yes, the pasture! I can see the sinkhole in front of me. The climb is most definitely cheeky. And I've got to get somehow also get to the bottom. My legs feel like lead weights. My lungs are burning. But it's not a good sign. I can see footprints in front of me. He's in front of me. This is the lip of the crater. Ah. Wow, look at that. Race or no race. I cannot not stop and appreciate. That is awesome. There is absolutely no way of just descending straight down there. That would be suicide. OK, this is frustrating now. I'm losing time. I found the route. Ah. <laughs> ah. Here's the path. I completely missed it before. This must be the path. Stop myself. Actually, slide into the bottom. <laughs> yes! Ah, stop it! I'm coming for you! Gary. <laughs> How are you? Am I the first man out? Sadly, you're not. <laughs> Sadly, you're not. There's this man over here. Ah, look at you! <laughs> out of all the people that I've ever taught, I'm very, very, very proud to have um, met Ed in this life and had the um, privilege of teaching him something. Might have beaten him in the race, but he's got a skill set that is so much more in-depth than mine. I do not consider myself the finished article at all yet. There's always room for learning more skills, and I think I'm, I'm still on that path. <laughs>